Hello, this is I'm Matit with Samuel Oke. Okay? This channel is dedicated to helping young mathematicians reach their full potential as soon as possible. And in this lesson, we will be looking into how to find some of the roots and product of the roots of a quadratic equation without actually solving the quadratic equations to find the roots. So we know that the general form of quadratic is a s squared plus b s plus c equals zero. And if we solve this by completing the square, we will obtain s is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac and all over 2a. This is known as the quadratic formula. So from this, we can obtain the two roots of the quadratic equation. So let the roots of the quadratic equation be alpha and beta, okay? So what would alpha and beta be? As a matter of fact, alpha and beta has been used to represent the root of quadratic equation. So this is the most common representation. So alpha is going to be minus b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And beta is going to be minus b minus square root of b squared uh, minus 4ac all over 2a. So these are the values of alpha and beta. So in this lesson, we will see how we obtain some of the root and the product of the root. So we can derive a, rec a formula for solving this every time. So let us start with some of the roots. Some of the roots would imply alpha plus beta, right? The sum of the two roots, where alpha and beta are the roots of the quadratic equation. So alpha plus beta would be equal to negative b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and plus negative b minus square root of um, b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We are adding. So let's solve the fraction. The LCM here is 2a, right? Let's put that there and see what we have for the numerator. So we have negative b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac, right? So n plus. Let's um, put plus there and open a bracket and 2 in 2 is 1. So we have negative b minus um, square root of b squared minus 4ac. So let's go on and open that bracket there. So we have minus b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac. And plus times minus is minus. So minus b. And minus again, right? Square root of b squared minus 4ac. And all of this over 2a. So um, you will notice that um, this cancel out this, right? So, um, and we have minus b and minus b there, right? So that's what we have at the numerator and 2a down there. So minus b minus b is minus 2b, right? And all over 2a. So 2, cancel out 2 there. And you have b all over a negative don't forget that minus so then the sum of the roots is minus b all over a so if we are told to find sum of the roots we simply look for the coefficient of x which is b and the coefficient of s squared which is a we put it in this formula and we will obtain what the sum of the roots would be without um having to solve the quadratic equation so this will save us a lot of time and space please if you are getting value from this lesson hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this so um let's move on to the next the product of the roots product of the roots would imply alpha beta as an alpha times beta so let us write the expression for that that will be minus b plus um square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a and multiplied by minus b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, right? So let's do this multiplication. So this will mean um, minus b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac. Let's put it in bracket. So, and the other side, we put that to in bracket. And all over, um, in all over 2a multiplied by um, 2a, right? So we have to take the product there. So let's open the bracket there. So we have, um, um, Minus times minus is plus. So we have b squared, right? And um, minus times minus is plus again. So we have plus b square root of b squared minus 4ac, right? And um, plus times minus this time is minus, right? So we put minus b um, square root of b squared minus 4ac 
and um, finally when we multiply the two square roots we we'll get rid of the square root right so but plus times minus is minus so let's put b square minus 4ac in bracket okay so I'm sure you are not lost at this point okay and all of this so um this cancel out each other right you notice so I'm, I'm supposed to put the denominator so and all of this all over 4 i squared 2 times 3 is 4 i times a is a squared so what we have left there is b squared and in the bracket we have minus b and plus 4 ac right on all over 4 i squared you notice at this point that b squared there and the negative b cancel out each other so we have 4 ac all over 4 a squared 4 to cancel out each other and the a up there reduce the a down there to 1 so we have c all over a so our conclusion is the product of alpha and beta the product of the root is c all over a so without having the need to solve the quadratic equation we just need to um, find the coefficient c the um, constant c and obtain the coefficient a and plug it in here so and we would find the sum of the roots and products of the roots so that is it okay now let's make use of this in real problems so we are here in this problem so we have to find the sum of the roots or and product of the roots of this quadratic equation the first one is x raised to the power 2 plus 4x minus 32 equals 0 so let us see how we should do this please if you are getting value from this lesson hit the like button and subscribe for more educational content like this so the general form of quadratic is a squared plus b s plus c it is important that we remember this so because this is what we will use to compare so that shows a is equal to 1 right and b equals 4 right when we check when we compare the form and see it's negative 32 I hope you understand this so we are comparing the standard form of quadratic with the problem we were given so some of the root is alpha plus beta right and that is going to be minus b all over a b is 4 so we have minus 4 and a is 1 right and negative 4 divided by 1 is negative 4 and just like that we found um, the sum of the roots now let's see product of the roots the product of the root is c all over a in this problem c is um, negative 32 right so c all over a and that will be negative 32 divided by a which is 1 and that gives negative 32 and we have found the sum of the root and product of the root without having to solve the quadratic equation let's see the second one remember a s squared plus b s plus c is a standard um, direct, uh, general form so a equals 2 b equals 3 and c equals negative 1 right so what is alpha plus beta that is negative b all over a right and what is b in this problem that is 3 so we have negative 3 all over a which is 2 so that is minus 3 all over 2 and that is um, the sum of the roots okay what of product of the roots in this situation so product of the root is um, c all over a right and what is c in this problem negative 1 right and what is a 2 and just like that there you have it so this is how to find some of the roots and products of the root without the need to solve the quadratic equation itself. So there are further more complex problems where you will be given expression involving some of the root and product of the root. So to deal with. And there is a lesson on that on this channel so you can look for it. Okay. I could put the link in this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Keep matting it. Keep winning.